In the chaos of the Fukushima Daiichi disaster, one man faced an impossible choice. His name was Masao Yoshida, the plant manager, and the weight of Japan rested on his shoulders. The earthquake and tsunami had crippled the facility. The vital cooling systems were down. Freshwater reserves were gone. The pumps were dead. Even the backup batteries were failing, plunging the control room into darkness. One by one, every conventional solution had been exhausted. As the reactor core heated up, threatening a catastrophic meltdown, Yoshida and his team, the Fukushima 50, were running out of time. They were staring at the abyss. But then Yoshida looked out and saw the one resource they had in infinite supply, the Pacific Ocean. Injecting corrosive seawater into a nuclear reactor is the ultimate taboo. It's an act of desperation, a one-way ticket. It ruins the multi-billion dollar facility forever. There's no coming back from it. Corporate headquarters and even the Prime Minister's office were hesitant, debating the consequences, trying to find another way. But Yoshida knew there was no other way. He understood the terrifying reality better than anyone. It wasn't about saving the plant anymore, it was about saving Japan. He knew that without water, any water, a full-scale meltdown was not a possibility. It was a certainty. The fallout would contaminate hundreds of square kilometers and displace millions of people. So, in a moment of incredible courage, Masao Yoshida made a decision that would define his legacy. He defied the chain of command, famously telling his liaison with corporate headquarters, they're a bunch of idiots. Tell them we're doing it now. He ordered his team to begin pumping seawater into the reactors. It was a desperate last-ditch effort, a kamikaze mission to cool the cores. This single, defiant act, born from a deep sense of responsibility, is widely credited with preventing a far greater disaster. Yoshida chose to sacrifice the plant to save the nation. His decision wasn't just about engineering, it was about humanity. Thank you for watching. If you found this story of courage and leadership inspiring, please like this video and subscribe for more stories of the unsung heroes of history. See you next time.